I'd like to start by thanking Professor Muscatelli and everyone at Glasgow University for extending this invitation to address you all today. To think that a little over a month ago I was still in a classroom teaching myself and now I am addressing a graduating class of educators. This really is a pinch yourself kind of moment. A mere 30 years ago, I was graduating from Murray House with my B.Ed. Honours and I felt the weight of responsibility of my new career on my shoulders. Was I worthy to hold the privilege of shaping our children's futures? Of course, it was also uh, mixed with a healthy dose of excitement about what the future would hold. The professional challenges faced by you as a graduating class will be similar to those that I faced, but you are now also being asked to equip our children to cope with a less certain future after 18 months, the like of which none of us have ever seen before. You will be that stability and you will be that guiding light. I don't want to scare you, but you will at times uh, feel that you are being bombarded by competing demands. Paperwork, preparation, but always remember that it is the pupils who are your North Star. They are always going to be the priority. Relationships with your children are key. Do whatever it takes to win them over, especially the ones that are the hardest to get on side because those are the ones that you'll get the most reward from. As you know, some of our young people have challenges and responsibilities far beyond their years that would daunt us as adults. Lead with empathy and compassion. Glasgow University has acknowledged that diversity is to be celebrated in their incredible new James McLoon Smith Learning Hub. Almost 200 years later, this incredible black man is represented in a building that will educate and inspire generations to come. It is critical to be a good ally in these changing times. Make sure the children know that they have your support. You'll give them the confidence to embrace their own identity. Speaking from personal experience, I know how impactful it is to have a role model in your life, even just one who is your ally. Be that ally. It's now an honour that so many children have heard my speeches, uh, with a few even coming up and quoting them back to me. Seeing me up there has made it real for them. A crack has been made in the glass door, so be afraid. The ambition and confidence of this new generation of students really does make it stand out, and you will have to mould it. What an honour. Stoke their ambition, their hopes and their dreams, and have the confidence in your ability as educators to help them achieve this. Give them choice, give them meaningful choice. It is safe to say that children will not always say what you want to hear, but value their varying views without privilege or bias, which can be very hard. We're all only human, but we as teachers must also check our biases and our fears before embracing this brave new generation and the often exciting ideas that they present. Always remember that education is salvation, and that's not an exaggeration. It may be a cliche, but education truly is the key that can open a door that would otherwise be locked. It was that way for me, a girl who moved from Pakistan as a child to a new life from very humble beginnings, and now finds herself as the first woman of colour to be elected to the Scottish Parliament. We are teaching our children to be imaginative and curious, and we must lead by example. Decolonising the curriculum is welcome news and will better represent who we are and where we all come from. Global citizenship has never been more important and Covid has laid bare just how closely connected we all are. It's a make sure you grasp the moment to be actively anti-racist and don't be afraid to call it out from the classroom and the staff room. Schools are communities and the standards we set will be replicated by our young people, both in the classroom and throughout their lives. The impact that you will have is lifelong and that's an incredible gift. To be good teachers, you must also be excellent learners. I hate to break this to you, but that doesn't stop today. You will continue learning for the rest of your career. Every 10 years, I've heard that with technological advances, uh, we'll not be needing teachers uh, for very much longer. But COVID blew that nonsense out of the water. 
The critical importance of our teachers was laid bare for all of us to see and the work that you will go on to do will be the most critical for our, for our society as we recover. Your contributions on placements have been recognised by the most important folks, the young people that you have been teaching. But as I close my remarks, on your behalf, I would like to thank all the people that have helped you on your journey to graduation. Your friends, your family, your teachers, your lecturers, school staff and the local authorities. And I would like to thank you for choosing to be the educators of the future. And I wish you all the best.